you are now filled with the strength. Because those things the enemy used to hold you down cannot hold you anymore. All the things you played, all the past life, all the past deeds, all those things has been wiped away. You are a new creature. You are a new person. He said, He said, He is risen as He has said. Come and see. Come, see the place where the Lord lay. And go quickly and tell his disciples. Go quickly. You and I, what we need to do, what we are meant to do, is to go out there and preach Jesus. Tell people about Jesus. Our work is to tell people about the work of Jesus, the work of the cross, everything about Jesus. Because a lot of people, they might be Christians, but they don't know what they belong to. They might be in Christ, they might be in church, but they are just in a building, but they don't know what they are worshiping. So many people are in building. So many people. That's why Jesus said to his disciples, are you with a dull heart that you cannot remember? So many people are in building, believing that they are in the church, but the majority of them are in building. They are just in the building. Because they don't know what they have in Christ Jesus. He said, go quickly. Go quickly and tell his disciples that he's risen from the dead. And indeed, he's going before you into Galilee. There you will see him. Behold, I have told you. Hallelujah. Amen. Jesus made us an awesome through the, his resurrection. We became un, un, unstoppable. I don't know where you, are, you find yourself, but I'm here to tell you that those people who have judged you, those people who have had something against you, those deities that have been speaking against you, all those pronounced and decree, decree and declarations uh, from the evil mouths and evil places and forests and deities uh, that have been working and manipulating you, they shall manipulate you no more because their power has come to an end. Amen. Hallelujah. Their power has come to an end. They have no more power. They cannot torment you anymore. Why? Because Christ paid the dead. He resurrected with your victory. He has given you victory over all those things. Sickness, disease, infirmity, barrenness. He has given you victory over them. Because they no longer have any power over your life and your destiny. Because his resurrection is a destiny changer. You are going to your new season. He said his reason. Christians, believers, brothers, brethren, let's know that we have something that the world doesn't have. We have something the world doesn't have. When they are where when they hate you, don't be worried because they hate you. Because Jesus Christ said they will hate you because of me. Don't be worried because you, you, they don't have what you have. That's why they hated you. They don't possess what you possess. That's why they hated you. That's why they can talk against you. That's why they can do all kinds of things. But when you know whom you are, you are. Then you know that their plan, their purpose, their thought is nothing. Because you know whom you are in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. God has 
given us the power over the enemies. And I know that from today, you will manifest your true image in Christ Jesus. You will manifest your true image in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. If you want, if, oh, John, let's go to, let's open up our, our Bible to John, please. Let's go to John 24, verse 6. Let's open John 49, actually. John 24. Sorry, not there. Uh... John 20, no, six, not uh, 24, sorry. John 11, sorry about uh, John 11. Open up John 11, not 26, but John 11. Let's go to John 11 first. Then we come back to 6, it's 6. John 11, verse 25 and 26. Hallelujah. If you are there, say I'm there. Hallelujah. Amen. He said, Martha said to him, I know that he will rise again in the resurrection. That is the power of Jesus. He said, I know that he will rise again at the last day. Jesus said to her, I am the resurrection. I am the life. He who believes in me. Though he may die, he shall live again. Jesus is life. When you believe in Jesus, life is your portion. Good life, not just life, but good life is your portion. Hallelujah. Because Jesus paid everything that you owe and has given you freedom. Hallelujah. Freedom is your portion. And it has given you the power to act, to manifest. When you receive Jesus as a believer, when you come to God, when as a son of God, as a daughter of God, as a child of God, when you are being liberated, when you are being given freedom, you manifest in the image of Christ. You do all, all, all kind of things in, in the name of the Lord. You manifest in his image. You do the things. Hallelujah. He said in Revelation 1 18, he said, I am he who lives and was dead. And behold, I am alive forevermore. And I have the keys of hate and death. Jesus had the key. And that's why he said in much, I have given you the key. As a Christian, you have the power. Because Jesus has given you the power through his resurrection. You are no longer an orphan. You are no longer in bondage. Because he has given you the key. He has given you the power. 
Hallelujah. Child of God, today marks your new season. It marks my new season as a believer, as a man of, of man of God, as a woman of God, as a child of God, as a family that belongs to God. Today marks your new season. Hallelujah. Nothing of the enemy can have power anymore over you. Nothing of the enemy can have power over you. If you open up, if you open up your Bible to Colossians, Colossians, let's have Colossians, please. Colossians 2. Colossians 2, verse 15. Colossians 2, 15. He said, having disarmed principalities and powers, when you know what you have in Christ Jesus, you know that all those things, they might rise like a lion, but they are not just like a bulldog, a bulldog that has no teeth, toothless bulldogs, because they will try to stand against you. They will try to come against you. They will try to bring fear into you. But when you know whom you are, you are. You tell them, God be here behind me. Because you've been defeated. I have been given victory and power. As men and women of God. You have now the power, the greatest power. The Bible says the, great, the greater grace. The Bible says power. Hallelujah. Today, today is your day of new turn around. Today is your day that all those things that has been of obstacle has no more power over you. Because in Corinthians, he said, therefore, anyone in Christ, he is a new creature. You are a new creature from today. You are a new creature. Because he said, all things has passed away. Because God, Jesus Christ, has written. All things has passed away. All those things that God has passed away. What do you do? In Matthew 16, 19, he said, I will give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven. And whatsoever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven. And whatsoever you lose on earth will be, whatever you lose on earth will be lost in heaven. Whatever. You are in your new season that you have to manifest your new you because you are a new person. And when you are a new person, you have to do something different. Hallelujah. You have to do something different. Let's open up our, our Bible. What happens when the, the power of God comes upon you? When the benefit of his resurrection is in your life, manifesting in your life. Open up your Bible to Acts 4, verse 33, please. Four verse that three said, and with great power, great power. Great power. With great power. The apostles gave witness to the resurrection 
of the Lord Jesus. With great power. The power from on high come up and then. He said, go and tie in the city. And it will come upon you. And money come upon them. He said, the apostles witness the resurrection. With great power they operate. They are moved with great power. They possess great power. Because there is something new in their life. And great, great, the harassment disappear. The fear disappear. Why? Because there is something new in their life. Jesus gave them the power. You and I have their power in us. We have it in us. Open your mouth. Because open, a closed mouth is a closed destiny. When you close your mouth, nothing moves. That is why when you are doing the Bible, the, 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 the pastor said, if you have the word of God and you close it, you don't look at it. It doesn't work anything. It doesn't make anything. Because you have to look into it. You have to study it. You have to manifest through the study of the word of God. The power that manifesting in you. The great grace. Christ has risen. We will pray because I know so many things has Let's open up our Bible to Romans 6. Open up your Bible to Romans 6. The work that has been made. Ephesians, then we pray. 
efficient. Efficiency, please. Efficiency, five. Efficiency, five. If you are there, glory be to God. Efficiency, five. He said, therefore, be imitators of God. As their, two, as, their two, as their children, and walk in love, as Christ also has loved us and given Himself for us, an offering and a sacrifice to God for a sweet smelling aroma. The fornication and all uncleanness of covetousness, let it not be evil, be named among you, as if, as is fitting for sins. Neither filthiness, nor foolish, nor foolish talking, nor coarse dressing, which are not fitting. But rather, give, giving thanks, giving of thanks. For this is, for this you know that no fornicator, unclean person, nor confessed man who is an idolater has any inheritance. In the kingdom of Christ. And God, let no one deceive you with empty words. Let no one deceive you with empty words. Prophets, God sent his prophet to tell the Israelites as they are going into captivity and they will stay for some years, he will bring them back. Another prophet, fake prophet, and come and tell them you are coming out. Those things are not what God said. It's not what I said. Don't be deceived with empty words. Without obedience, without being humble, you cannot receive from Christ. You cannot enjoy the benefit. Let us be humble. Don't be deceived. For because all these things, the wrath of God comes upon the sons. Upon the sons of disobedience. Of disobedience. Therefore, do not be partakers of them. For you were once darkness, but now you are light in the Lord. Walk as children of light, for the fruit of the Spirit is in goodness, righteousness, and truth. We will stop so far and pray and have our communion service, because there is a law, but as a child of God who have been able who have had the privilege to witness this very day. It's a privilege. It's a privilege to be alive up to this very day. To see this new season. To this, see this new moment. It's a privilege. Seize it. Hold it. Run with it. Enjoy it. Manifest it in your life. Know that from today, you are a new person. You are a new creation in Christ Jesus. For all those things that has troubled you shall trouble you no more. All those things that has hold you down shall hold you no more. Because they are dead. They are gone. Jesus Christ has destroyed their powers. They have no power. Fear has no more power over you. So many people are in Christ, they are still very fearful. 
careful of your Lord. When you know that your Christ is the one that fights the battle for you. He has already fought for the battle for you. He has already given you victory. Walk in his victory. Walk in the light of your victory. Because God has given you faith. Jesus gave you faith. Through his resurrection, he gave you faith. You are a child of faith. You have nothing more to fear about. Don't worry about all those situations. Because their time has come for them to win their way. They will disappear. And you look and you will see them no more. Hallelujah. Child of God, you are now overcome because the enemy has been defeated. Fear no more. Hallelujah. Fear no more for Christ has risen. Let's pray. Let's pray that this is your new season will never be a season of last season. This is your new season. It will never be like last year. It will never be like last few years. It will never even be like yesterday because you are in your new season. Your turnaround is now because destiny changer is now in you and man man manifesting in you. You have a glorious destiny. But the worst of the enemy I'm here to tell you from now, you are a free person because the Lord is principalities and powers. They have destroyed their powers. And God said, He has given you the keys. God said, He wrestled with death and He took the keys. And when he took the key, who did he give it to? He gave it to his children. He gave it to you and me. We have the key. We have the power. As a child of God. Say, whatsoever you bind, we bind the heaven. Whatever. He didn't say a few things. He didn't say even some things. He said, whatever. Now the power is in your mouth. It's in you. You have the power because you have the key. Open up your mouth. Open up your mouth and thank God for His wonderful works in, Christ, in, 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 in the cross. And thank God. Thank God. Thank God. Thank God. Thank God. Thank God. Give God the glory. In the Give him all the honor. Praise him, praise him, praise him. Praise him, praise him, praise him. Thank him, thank him. In the name of Jesus, open up your mouth and thank God. Open up your mouth and thank God because the finishing work on the cross shall never be in vain. If for you and me, in the name of Jesus, if for your family, if for my family, if for your children, if for my children, if for my household, if for your household, if for you, open up your mouth, open up your mouth and thank God. 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 Open up your mouth, open up your mouth. Open up your mouth and thank God. Open up your mouth and thank God. Open up your mouth, open up your mouth and thank God. Open up your mouth, open up your mouth, open up your mouth, open up your mouth. Don't be quiet because Jesus Christ, He has done it for you. Open up your mouth and thank Him. Open up your mouth and thank Him. For He has done it for you. He will pay nothing, nothing of anything that you have paid to deserve it.
because he had defeated all those things uh, that have been defeating you for all those years. Uh, all those things has caused you, or caused you to be barren. All those things has caused you to be unfruitfulness. Uh, Jesus Christ had defeated them. Uh, he has pushed them away. He had destroyed their powers. Uh, from now on, uh, you are a new creature. You are a new person. Uh, you are a fruitful person. Uh, you are a prosperity person. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, open up your mouth, open up your mouth, uh, because he has given you victory. Jesus has given you victory. He blessed with your victory. He blessed with your destiny. Jesus Christ has risen. He has risen with your grace. He said greater grace. He has given you power. He has risen with your victory over enemies. He has risen with your, your, with your prosperity. He has risen with your progress. Jesus Christ has risen with your promotion. In the name of Jesus. Open up your mouth, open up your mouth, uh. 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 open up your mouth. Uh. They are, will die. In the name of Jesus. God has given you power over those Tobias and Tambala. He has destroyed their powers. Their conspiracy over your life has been defeated. That's why you have got to open up your mouth again. We are going to pray that every Tobias and Sambala, any, anyone around your life, and within your life, that is Tobias and Sambala, any masculine of them on friendly friends, walking around you, today, 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 they have no more power because their agenda must come to, must come to die. Today, their agenda must fail. Today, their agenda must dis be disgraced. In the name of Jesus. For the Bible said, Jesus made a public show of them. He destroyed them. He dismantled them. And that's what we are going to do now. That from today, I want every day of your life it to be testimony. You are waking up in testimony. You are sleeping in testimony. You are eating in testimony. Because your destiny has been wiped out and changed by the blood of Jesus. You are now into a glorious destiny. You are now into a glorious destiny. A destiny of fulfillment. A destiny of, of, of grace. A destiny of progress. A destiny of promotion. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Say, Lord Jesus. Any powers, any powers, any forces, any forces surrounding me all corners, surrounding me all corners, as friends, as friends, from today, from today, beginning from now, beginning from now, their evil powers of manipulation, their evil powers of manipulation, their satanic plan against me, their satanic plan against, against my family, against my, against family, against my children, against my, children, against children, against my wife, against, against, my, wife, against my job, against it my shall job. die it shall in the name of Jesus. Uh, open up your mouth, open up your mouth, open up your mouth, open up your mouth. You only have two minutes to pray. Open up your mouth, open up your mouth. You have only two minutes, sir. You have only two, only two minutes, sir. So declare and declare every Sambalat and Tobias sir, around your life, sir. You get them quick notice, sir. From today, they shall show up no more. Quick notice. 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 Quick notice.
Lord. Enough is enough. Happy it's a time to come to end. It's time has come to end. Because they have no more power. In the mighty name of Jesus. That fear has no more power. Over your life. In the that fear has no more power. Over your life. Christ. That poverty. That scarcity. That delay has no more power. Over your life. Because they have no more power. Over your life. Because you are a new creature. In the mighty name of Jesus. Over your life. Open up your mouth. 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 Open
because you are a son and a daughter of Jesus Christ. And he lives in you. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you for the place of your name. As we are going to the next segment of the service, the communion service, I will humbly call the our reverend, Reverend Augustine, to take us through that process and procedure for communion service. Reverend, please take us through that, please.
Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. In the name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, oh Heavenly Father, our God, our Redeemer, we use my grace as a point of power for every person, every man, every woman, wherever they are, there is no barrier in spiritual realms. Oh Lord, everlasting Father, you have your word said, you have destroyed and disarmed principalities and powers of the enemy. You have destroyed their agenda. You have destroyed their purpose and plan against your children. We pray this day, O oh Lord, that anyone, any man, any woman, any personality, any agent of the evil, whatsoever, wherever they are coming from, far from today, we command their power to cease in the mighty name of Jesus. We command them to show up no more. We command them to manifest no more in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, Heavenly Father, we pray. In whichever form, in whichever way they have come, as they have come whatsoever way, as they have come as a bird, as they have come as a cat, as they have come as whatsoever, as any animal, or even as a human being, being manipulated by any evil spirit. Oh, Heavenly Father, from today, we command their powers to cease in the mighty name of Jesus. We command their agenda to perish in the mighty name of Jesus. We command their plan to die in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, Heavenly Father, we pray, as, you, as we place your children uh, under the canopy of God, uh, and we cover each and every one with blood of Jesus. Uh, we cover each and every family with blood of Jesus. Uh, we cover our communities with blood of Jesus. Uh, we cover our children with the blood of Jesus. Uh, we cover everything, oh Lord, that concerns us with blood of Jesus. And we pray, oh Lord, and Father, let your covering, let your protection be upon us and upon anything concerning us in Jesus' name. In the mighty name of Jesus. I pray. Amen.
announcement is for the week and as continuous our Tuesday's prayer a close mark is a close destiny we need that fire to keep away all those patterns you know all those patterns we need the fire of God in us prayer is part of igniting the fire and sustaining the fire we need to sustain it we need to sustain the fire in us so let's come on on Tuesdays 9 o'clock to 10 o'clock, one hour. Let us come together and continue sustaining the fire. Continue igniting the fire. Let's continue because the fire will never go down unless you allow it to go down in the name of Jesus. And on Friday, it's a different service. It's an issue settling night. Come on Friday. Come with any issue. Come with anything that is troubling you. But I'm here to tell you that those things shall show up no more. From today, it shall show up no more. But come on Friday to continue sustaining the stability of your freedom in the mighty name of Jesus. Friday, 8 o'clock to 9 o'clock, 1 hour. Tuesday, one o 9 o'clock to 10 o'clock. And also, every day of your life, keep on praying, keep on believing, keep on igniting the fire, keep on pumping the fire to continue the flame to continue doing that in your life in Jesus' name. Amen. service if you have anything you have in your house if you have any drink 
if you have any biscuit, if you have whatsoever you can use. For because the Bible said, Jesus, take the bread, the bread that they were eating. He said, this is my body, this is my body. Eat it, and he took the same drink they were drinking, and he placed it and said, take this, this is my blood, this blood of the new covenant. So he gave to them, they are drinking, and he gave to them, and he said, this is my, the blood of my new covenant. I have to tell you that whatsoever you have, whatsoever you are using, take it out, I will bless it, because the Bible said, Jesus blessed the bread, and he gave it to them, and he blessed the drink, and he said, it's my blood. I will allow you to, I give you two minutes, I give you a minute to go and get whatever you have in your house, take your drink, take your bread, take biscuit, Take any drink you have in your house. Bring it, bring it so that I will bless it now. I will spread it over it and it will turn to the blood of Jesus and the body of Jesus Christ. Get whatever you have in your house. Get it now. Get it now. Get it now. Get it now, child of God. Get what you have. Get what you have. Get what you have. Get what you have. Get it. Get what you have. Get what you have. Amen. Lift it. He said that Jesus lift the prayer. And he took the prayer and the prayer and said, Lord, I thank you. I thank you because this is the body of Christ. You cannot have the body of Christ and still have sickness in your body. Because the body of Christ is a sickness destroyer. If you have the body of Christ, disappointment has no power in your life. He said he gave them the prayer and they are eating. He said, that's my body. Eat it. And, and he said, this is my blood. He said, this is my blood. He said, this is my blood. And he took it. He blessed it and said, take it, it's my blood. It's the blood of new confidence. And he gave it to them. They are drinking. You can't have the blood of Jesus in the, into your life and still be disappointed. You can't have the blood of Jesus and see be, be failure. You can't have the blood of Jesus and see be barren. You can't have the blood of Jesus and see be poor. You can't have the blood of Jesus and see be sick. You can't have the blood of Jesus and see not be promoted because the blood of Jesus raises away anything that is a blockade. He takes away the sickness. He takes away the sin. The sin that the enemy holds to judge you. The sin the enemy use of hope to accuse you. The blood of Jesus wipe it away. He destroyed the powers of the enemy. That's why the Bible said when he resurrected, he resurrected with the key. And he said he's giving us the key of heaven. He's giving us the key of the key of the kingdom. And say whatsoever you find on earth, it will burn on heaven. And whatever you lose on earth, it will lose in heaven. And he said he has given us the power. Any sin we forgive has been forgiven. And anyone that has not been forgiven cannot be forgiven. I stand here as a servant of God, as a man of God, and I pronounce over the drink as you drink it. Sickness will have no power over you. Disappointment will have no power over you. Failure will have no power over you. Disgrace will not have power over you because the blood of Jesus is a destiny changer. He is turning your destiny to a glorious destiny. He is turning your situation to a glorious situation. He is turning that capacity, that cap captivity. He is turning it into a round because you are going to be set free. The blood of Jesus has come to set us free from every captivity. And from today, you are being set free. You are free. Enjoy your freedom in Jesus Christ. Because the Bible says, without Christ, is a crisis. Any man, any woman who is watching me, I came here to tell you that any life without Christ is crisis. I don't know how far you are living. I don't know how fat you are living. I don't know how rich you are living. But without Christ, is crisis. You might be rich. You might be prosperous. You might have everything you need. But when you don't have the peace, not the peace that the world gives, as Jesus said, my peace I leave to you. But not as the peace of the world, but the peace of God is the peace, the peace that guarantees the peace, the peace that guarantees happiness, the peace that guarantees favor, the peace that guarantees joy, because that is the peace of the Lord, the peace that guarantees 
favor, the peace that guarantees good health. Uh, that is the peace of the Lord. Uh, the peace when you have it. Uh, when you go to bed, you sleep uh, and you have a nice dream. Uh, not a peace that you will have uh, and you'll be chasing in the dream uh, and you'll be killed in the dream uh, and you'll be shot in the dream uh, because you are having peace uh, that is of the world. Uh, because the world is full of trouble. Uh, but the peace of the Lord uh, in the name of the Lord and in the body of Christ, uh, there is peace. Uh, a peace that settles its way a peace that changes destiny around us, a peace that guarantees your, your fruitfulness in the mighty name of Jesus. You can't have the blood of Jesus and still be barren. Barren is not your portion in the mighty name of Jesus by the blood and by the power of the Holy Spirit. For the Bible said that, Jesus said, John, I said, unless you eat my blood, unless you eat my flesh and drink my blood, you have no power in you, you have no life in you. The, the blood of Jesus is the blood that guarantees life, is the blood that guarantees prosperity, is the blood that guarantees good health, is the blood that guarantees favor in the mighty name of Jesus. As you drink it, drink it right away, drink it now, Give it to your children. They have been involved in their education. They have been lacking. But I'm here to tell you, as they are coming in contact with the blood of Jesus, their brain will be sharpened in the name of Jesus. Their knowledge will be widened. Their wisdom will be increased because the wisdom of God supersedes the wisdom of man. In the mighty name of Jesus, take it now, take it now, take it now. And I pray over your life that whatsoever you are experiencing uh, as the hand of the enemy, the monkey repetition, uh, from today, it shall work no more in your life. Uh, because the Lord is on your side. Uh, in the mighty name of Jesus, by the blood and by the power of the Holy Spirit, I pray over your life that from today, you are a new you. Because the old things have passed away. Jesus has risen. Uh, he has risen with your victory. Jesus has risen up. He has risen with your testimony. From today, you are a new creature. You are a new person. He said the old things has passed away. Old things has passed away. Old things has passed away. Old habit has passed away. Old disappointment has passed away. That failure has passed away. Failure has passed away. Disgrace has passed away. Because you are into your new season. This is your new season. A new season to move forward. A new season to be promoted. A new season to climb higher. In the mighty name of Jesus, whatsoever that has holding you down from today, you are loser. In the mighty name of Jesus, it has no power over you anymore. That generational cause has no power over you anymore. That deities that have been speaking against you, those deities from your generational background that have been working against you, you are sitting in the water, but you cannot drink because something is working against you. But I'm here to tell you that from today, you live and enjoy your life. Because it's a new you, it's your new season, it's your new time. Go out and possess your possession. Because whatsoever that belongs to you must be surrendered to you. Because God has wrestled it out of the hands of Jeremy, out of the hands of those that is holding what belongs to you. Now it's yours. That happiness is yours. Go and enjoy your marriage. Go and enjoy your children. Go and enjoy your work. Because Jesus has set you free. He has put you in a platter of gold. The life and good life and long life and good health is your portion. Because the blood has come to destroy the works of the enemy. Because he said that Satan come to steal, to destroy, to kill. But I, the Lord has come to give you life and give it to you in abundance. Go and live life and live it in abundance. Lord is with you. Jesus is with you. His grace is upon you. Go and manifest in greater grace and enjoy the life of you as a child of God. Shalom. God bless you all. 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 Shalom. 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 In Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus.
all enjoyed that service here this evening and this afternoon and this morning from whichever part of the world that you're watching us from i am blessed to be just down here and joining in within the ultimate charismatic christian center or oh, other people um, are asking me um, for prayers yes all your prayers have been had and i'm sure that everybody who sent in their prayers their prayers was destined to him i just want to appreciate every one of you here today from whichever part of the world you have been joining us from i want to thank you and all your families i hope you're having a wonderful easter sunday and of course um, it's uh, our festival season for all the interface. We just want to thank you for every one of you who has joined us here this afternoon. It's just gone, um, uh, just um, gone after, um, let me tell you, it's just gone um, just after three uh, or just three o'clock uh, UK time, just after that. But we want to uh, thank all of you. I want to celebrate some people here today. Femi, Adeyemi, I just want to thank you. Wishing you a very lovely, happy Easter. Daryl, uh, Emily, lovely to see you. And of course, our dear lovely sister, Susan. Uh, I just, um, and Susan Opa, lovely to see you as well. Thank you so much for joining in. And of course, Donald Igwebu, lovely to see you. And many families right down across London, right down across United Kingdom, all the way in Kenya, all the way in Nigeria, all the way in Malawi. We want to appreciate all of you for joining this wonderful service. And it was absolutely powerful this uh, uh, afternoon here in the ultimate charismatic Christian center. And indeed, it's virtual only for now until this um, COVID-19 uh, uh, passes. Once it passes, you will be allowed to come to the church. And of course, if you'd like to get more details, I'll put the details for the church right down here. I'm just here to help them to air their uh, service and I enjoy doing that. So I'm blessed to be here alone. Uh, I just appreciate this service. Happy Easter Sunday, uh, everyone, to everyone who's joined us. It's a beautiful service. The theme here tonight or today or evening, morning, Washington has just joined us right now. I want to say the theme here tonight, it was a powerful topic and the theme here tonight was, the, my, it's my new season. That was the topic here tonight. And they've read loads of um, chapters, so I'm going to put in the chapters. So if you've missed, you can read that for yourself. For those who are asking me who the reverend is, his name is Reverend George Agui, some know him as Reverend Agui Roy, and that is what he likes to be known. But he loves to just say, I'm Reverend, that's what he likes to call himself. Reverend George, if you'd like to speak to him and you'd like prayer night, it's normally on a Tuesday. And of course, uh, also joining him on Friday, uh, Tuesdays is normally from 9 o'clock to 10 o'clock. UK time and Fridays is normally from 8 o'clock till 9 o'clock United Kingdom time. I love to hear it from my, um, uh, from live from uh, London, what you're watching, definitely it is live happening right now in London. It's not recorded, but it's a live coverage right down here in London. Absolutely good question. Thank you so much. I'm going to say that that is a good day from us. Good day, happy, happy festival season. Happy, happy um, warmth. We send you abundance. We send you love. From this house here tonight, it's a goodbye from us. See you later, everyone.
the Castle Hill for Ultimate Charismatic Christian Center. If you'd like to get me to air your service, plus 44-774-2384. 423-84052 is my number. That number again, plus 4477-423-84052. That is my number. Thank you. See you later, everyone. Bye-bye.